Hello everybody and welcome back to another Hogwarts Legacy video. In the last video, we, um... We found out the Merlin Trials. And we did some side missions. And, um, hmm. today, and we also place. talked to the portrait of... Of, um... Cedric Diggory's ancestor, which told us to go all the way up here to the North Hamlet. That we have to go to Upper Hogsfield. So there's also side missions. So I think I'm going to, to do the side missions. Maybe we do the side missions this episode and then keep coming. Can... I couldn't help but overhear. Did you mention Ranrock's loyalists? I did. <sighs> Never imagined they'd act this deadly. I'm Claire Beaumont, by the way. Nice to meet you. Ranrock and his followers have set up camp here. No regard for our beloved Hamlet or our livelihoods. Ruthless. My brother Baldov dared to stand up to them and ended up in St Mungo's. Simply at my wit's end. Sex How did your brother Baldov end up in St Mungo's? Yeah. <sighs> Baldolf had spent the entire day hand-picking herbs and roots for us. When a group of Ranrock's lot appeared and demanded the harvest for themselves, Baldolf refused. In their anger, they hurled him against the rock and robbed him. The moment he left St Mungo's, he vowed revenge. I worry he may be dabbling in magic that he will one day regret. You said Ranrock's loyalists have set oh, up okay. camp here. Where, precisely? To the south, across the river. Last I heard, there were several loyalists in each camp. I won't go near them. Why don't you simply leave the area for now? Upper Hogsfield is my home. Baldolf and I grew up here. No, we are standing firm. It's only like a thing of like returns, four houses. Then we shall decide what to do next. He's gone to seek Victor Rookwood's advice. I didn't approve of that idea, but perhaps in the end it will help. I'm unfortunately quite familiar with Ranrock's loyalists. Perhaps I can do something. <sighs> Much as I would love to be rid of them, I wouldn't want you to risk injury or worse. Please be cautious. We should not have to live in fear. This is our home. Yeah. Their uh, quest thing was like a, like a hatch. Best be on my guard. Which is kind of cool. Clear the goblin encampments too. Did I have to clear two goblin encampments? What the fuck? Oh, it's these things that I saw when I came in. Reminds me of the time I nearly fell out of a cart at Gringotts. I was only young, mind. We're not like I'd fall out now. Lucky if I fit in one now. Traficus Totalus. Okay, stop being dumb. Shit. Shit. Dogs. Run the other way when they see me humans do every time. Shit, all right. back this way. Yeah. Stupid fight. Stupid fight. Yeah. Like stupid fight. Stupid fight. Stupid fight. Stupid Quiet. 
Blame. One camp down, one more to go. Yeah. This is also not the camp that I saw when I was walking up here. The camp that I saw walking up here was like a castle. How nice of you to stop by. Most goblins in my family work in the mines. There's somebody there. Hello? Incendio, bitch. Both camps cleared. Madam Beaumont will be glad to hear that. It's like a place right out of a storybook. Oh, I do miss the box. Hello, Madame Beaumont. Good news. I was able to clear out Ranrock's camps. You cleared them out? How? I managed to catch them off guard. When my brother returns, this news will mean the world to him. You saved our hamlet, my young friend. This will not be forgotten. I fear for other hamlets, truly. Ranrock and his lot are unlike any goblins I've ever seen.
would you make it? Shop. What are you looking for exactly? Thank you. Uh, Sincerely. Thank you for passing. No problem. Through. That's kind of cool. The stag skull. It doesn't appear to be connected to the missing pages. Best hang on to it for now. Shane Bardolf thought dark magic was the answer. I reckon Brookwood's played a hand in his disappearance. Here's a bridge. There's no like overpass thing. And there's no candle in this bridge. Wonder who lives here. Bardo Beaumont should have returned by now. So, I think there was another bridge to the other side. Because I'm pretty sure we went. No, never mind, just a cliff. Yep, this place just doesn't work out. Never mind, that is where I went. Hmm. It has to be here somewhere. Okay, well, it wasn't around there, so I'm glad I looked it up because I would have just been forever looking for this thing. It's by the actual, it's actually by the entrance to the forbi Forbidden Forest. My dearest Apollonia, would you care to join me for a pickle? I know you enjoy a good Cornish pasty almost as much as you enjoy a good mystery. See you soon. I hope yours truly is Not what I wanted to do. No, not what I want to do. Awesome. Lumos. Uh, I'm guessing it has to be nighttime, and I just missed nighttime. So when it becomes night again, we'll come back there. Dang it, I just missed nighttime too. Alright. 
Not sure oh, how shame, it shame, felt. Shame, shame Bardolf thought dark magic was... Hello, Dorothy. Me. Did you say something about Bardolf Beaumont? I did. I don't think we've met. I'm Dorothy Sprottle. I was just worrying about Claire Beaumont's brother, Bardolf. Only he's gone missing. Rumour is he was seen in the forest practising dark magic. Saw him myself near some ruins with Rookwood's lot I did. I fear he got himself into trouble with the Ashwinders, especially if he made them a promise he couldn't keep. Shame, really. With Ranrock's camps cleared out, I have a feeling he'd have given up on dark magic altogether. Why would Bardolf want to get involved with the Ashwinders? Oh, he had a terrible run-in with Ranrock's loyalists. Changed him. He vowed never to feel powerless again. I think he sought the Ashwinders out to learn their secrets. Victor Rockwood, at least, seems somehow immune to Ranrock's loyalists. Do you think Bardolf may have simply run off? No. Bardolf's run that shop with Claire his entire life. He'd not give it up for anything. He swore he'd be back in a fortnight. My instincts are that he's been held captive or worse. I can certainly look out for him. Any help would be appreciated. You might speak to Claire first. Perhaps she has some insights that I don't. I can tell you that Bardolf was last seen in the forest wearing a particular woolen jumper. One that Claire knitted herself. Claire will be at her shop if you'd like to speak with her. I already spoke to Claire and she just this looks sent me to encampments so I could kill them. What is that? Is that part of Hogwarts? Uh. 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 the river near the forest. I must be on the right track. I'm here. Move chickens. The fuck is this place? I have no clue what the fuck that place this place is, but uh it's obviously too high level for me or so. Not yet. Jobber noise? In far I must be struck with fire spells to make them vulnerable to other attacks. Oh, uh, it's the things that Dumbledore it's fought. You know, What's it called? And half the prince shit. Fuck off all of you. No, no, no. Thank you for jumping. Incendio. Fuck you. Would you jump up? That must be Bardo. Incendio. Oh, I'm finding sorry right now. Okay, it's kind of sad what it is. Incendio. Protego. A 
lots of death boss later. Let me Incendio. Damn, you died. Just like the infamous one wants to know what really happened to him. So bosses. And it's as he kind of sucked. For him being a level 19 boss, he kind of sucked. All right, journal entry 02 of 02. I'm repulsed by what I have just witnessed. They have created an inferno. Various a corpse mutilated come to life. I tried to hide my horror at what I was seeing. At last, I think they saw through me. I need to convince them that I'm not a spy. I'm not here to undermine them. If I do not, I fear the blow. This mentions in theory, and something about it being Bardolf's turn next. Whoa. Uh. Uh. Sorry, Bardolf, but you got turned into one. Sorry to say that. What is that? Those like crocodile things? A dug bog. Look at me. What do you look like? Oh, you're a little big frog. That's kind of I don't want to actually fight it, I just want to see what it looked like. It's just like a big frog thing with spines on its back. That's honestly kind of cool. Dangerous if I'm not careful. What can prove dangerous? We're going back up to the person who gave us the quest. It's like a place right out of a storybook. I talked to Claire alone. No. Thank you for all hey, that you've Claire. done to Madam Beaumont. I'm sorry. I believe I have some news of your brother. Badolf? What do you know of my brother? I regret to say that Bardolf has been turned into an Inferius, and I had to kill him. What? But, but how could you possibly think that an Inferius was my brother Bardolf? That's absurd. He was wearing a woolen jumper, hand knitted. <gasps> no, no, this can't be. Oh. <gasps> I'm sorry. Chick. I'm truly sorry. I wish it had been better news. I hate how in the game she was like crying and well, she just Bardolf. like switched back to her uh, what more could I have um, seller player model. Oh, Bardolf. Bardolf. Damn, I'm sorry, Cherry. Don't blame me though. Don't be stingy. Bardolf, you wouldn't have... Prisoner of Love, Ghost of Our Love, okay. Without saying goodbye, would you? <laughs> Hello, Helen. I'm pleased to see you took my advice. I'm saying your brother told me you would come. Oh, hello, Eldritch. The Thistle and the Badge, Part 1 of 3. The Thistle and the Badge, Helen Thistle with Reflections on of a former or retirement isn't what I expected. I enjoy 
the leisure time, of course, but I do miss the excitement of hunting magical fugitives. I know you're not supposed to admit that you actually enjoy the terminal associated with the job, but how can you feel anything other than exhilaration when chasing a Ukrainian iron belly through a muggle city and then oblivioning all the muggles who saw, who saw you? Or foiling a dark wizard's plot to take over the ministry with an army of Chinese chomping cabbages, using a, only a single basket of bouncing bulbs. When the ministry, ministry finally makes all of my old cases public, my neighbors will never look at me the same way again. Old Madame Thistlewood down the lane is the one who put the nasty brute so-and-so in Azkaban. For now, I can merely insinuate... Lest I divulge something confidential, I would hate to force my former colleagues into locking me away in Azkaban. Not an appealing thought. Well, I suppose I should check on my garden. The bluebells have been struggling this season. Rebellion. Is there any more? Part two or three? The thistle and the badge, Helen Thistlewood, Reflections on the Form of War. I have a lot of time these days to reflect upon my career. I wonder if the good we did balances out the mistakes we made along the way. Did we always catch our criminals? No. Did we sometimes put away the wrong person? It's possible. Is that an acceptable risk when it comes to preserving the well-being of the wizarding world at large? I like to think so. But then again, I'm not an innocent witch moldering away an Azkaban. If I were, then perhaps I'd feel different. It is a quandary without a solution, or at least not one that I am likely to solve. This is the problem with retirement. It leaves one with too much time to dwell upon bygone problems, and there's nothing one can do about it. Oh, and my bluebells died. Oh, that sucks. This wood and the badge. Helen, this wood. Reflections on the for of a former or. I'm still dwelling upon my big hypothetical from the other day. I always made certain that I would defend my decisions before the Wiggins not, should they need to arise. I was required to do this on a rare occasion, and it was never a pleasant experience. No matter how confident I was, despite what some believe, the ministry is far from omnipotent. And when I hung up my badge and left behind quite an un a few unsolved cases, if I had all the time in the world, I doubt I could solve them all. But should the opportunity arise to revisit one and correct any mistakes I made, I will certainly take it. That's the only way to rest easy about my career. Never hesitate to fix mistakes, especially if they are a pawn to begin with. I fear that in our haste to mete out justice, we may inadvertently become the vehicle for injustice. I fear this especially for myself. I could be wrong, but I doubt it. Oh, I'm through with gardening. I hate that she has a house up. And so it's like a little house. Not like only rich Madam my Fizzle, house. I met your great I guess she's well off. She is a in my common room. He sent me to speak to you. I'm pleased you came. Uncle Eldridge believes the book you found and its missing pages may be relevant to an unsolved case from my time as an aura. Very well. I'm listening. Decades ago, a student named Richard Jackdaw disappeared after going to meet a girl named Anne. They never found his body. When his headless ghost appeared briefly in Hogsmeade, wholly unaware of how he died, Anne was convicted of his murder and sent to Azkaban. It was in large part due to the testimony of a girl called Apollonia Black. Jealous of Anne, I think. That sounds terrible, but I'm not sure how I can help. Anne's alibi was somewhat labyrinthine. She said Jackdaw promised her adventure following a map he found on some pages he'd stolen from Peeves. And you think Peeves ripped those pages from the book I found in the restricted section? If my great uncle is to be believed, yes. At least dun, that's dun, what dun. the portraits at Hogwarts suspect. Anne insisted that Jackdaw had asked her to follow the map with him, but only after she solved a series of puzzles he'd prepared. Odd way to woo a girl. She swears she never even solved the first puzzle, so they didn't meet. Jackdaw's ghost vanished almost as soon as he appeared. Without Jackdaw's puzzle, pages, or remains, 
and the sentence is checked out. Azkaban based solely on Apollonia's spurious testimony. I don't understand. What can I do to help? I believe Anne may have solved the first puzzle by now, but after spending time in Azkaban, she's a shadow of her former self. She won't speak to anyone she doesn't trust, and she trusts no one. If you, a student with a connection to the pages like Jackdaw had, spoke to Anne, she might reveal new information. What a horrible story. All right, I will. I'm going. If you think I can help, I'll come with you. This is wonderful news. You are to be commended for your kindness and bravery. Fortunately, being a retired Aura has its benefits. We can apparate right to her. I've escorted ministers, professors, and many others to that blasted place. Never a student, I'll admit, but I will keep you safe. Tell me more about Apollonia Black. Apollonia. Oh. Apollonia. Claimed that Anne threatened to kill the boy after he broke her heart. The Black family's power over certain people in the ministry, oh, along with the fact that Anne is muggle-born, sealed her fate. I'd like to know That's more so about dumb. Anne. That poor soul never was the brightest girl, and that lack of wit proved to be her undoing. I half suspect Jack Daw and Apollonia were merely toying with her. Who could have known he'd end up dead? She's not held up well in Azkaban. In some ways, she blames me for not proving her innocence. I'd like to clear her name if we can. You said Jack Daw's ghost appeared briefly, then vanished. Where do you think he went? I have no idea. Evidently, he was always a bit restless, going on and on about adventure. If I had to guess, he tired of Scotland and is somewhere on the other side of the globe by now. Very well. Let's go. Yeah. Steady yourself. We'll apparate together. Don't worry. I've never splinched anyone. Do take care now. And tread lightly in that horrible place. We'll be there in but a moment. I'm glad you never splinched anyone. I would not want to get splinched. Wow. It's mentors. Fuck off. Expecto Petrona! Oh, her, she's the bunny rabbit. That ought to keep them at bay for now. Though, be aware, you may feel a wave of despair. It will pass. Thank you for the warning. This really is a dismal place. But we'll be out of here soon enough. Now follow me. Do keep your wits about you. I never thought right, I'd cool. see the inside of Azkaban for myself. Nasty Dementors. Not even I could convince the Ministry to send them off. There's no need for such monsters. Yeah, full around, Dan. I'm gonna see what was in there. Nothing though. I see two mentors. I'd cast Crucio on the lot of you. You don't scare me, young you're with has a dark cloud over yeah, well you guys are stuck here and i'm running free baby has someone come to feed me is someone there no one at school is going to believe this now remember anne has been here a long time the dementors aren't kind have patience and speak to her quietly and respectfully are you anne who's there no. 
Who speaks to me? Is that death finally come for me? I'm a student from Hogwarts. I found the book that you said would exonerate you. Ah, the book, the book. No one would look. None of the mages found the pages. Methinks the feckless knave meandered to his cave. My fate was surely sealed in Upper Hockey Field. Are you saying that the missing pages are in a cave near Upper Hogsfield? Hogs, Hogs, field, field, ruins house, a vault concealed. A vault in some ruins. Near Upper Hogsfield. I suppose it can't hurt to look. Can't hurt to look, can't hurt to look. Go find the pages from your book. Helen, Helen, know you're here. Come in closer, be a dear. <sighs> what is it, Anne? <gasps> oh, shit. Oh shit. Did she just kill her? You're hurt. Go. The cave. You're safe now. You have what you need. I'll be alright once I get. Once you get what? Once you get oh, this what? I... Alright. I'll find it. Fine. I'll find Jack Daw's cave. I should investigate. It's not in. What's over here? Oh shit, it's one of these things that I saw earlier that I couldn't really get into. This must unlock them. This must be the place Anne told me about. No one's been here for ages. Oh, well. Incendio. Levioso. Accio. Does it tell me which ones are supposed to be out shish or not? I just have to get on. No. Hmm. How did you do this, Jackdaw? No, that's not it.
here. It's no wonder I never found that clue. Protego! Incendio. Accio. No. Hmm. How do you do this, Jackdaw? No, that's not. It's no wonder I never found that clue. Accio. No. Hmm. How could you do this, Jackdaw? Oh, that's done something. Couldn't outwit me, Jackdaw. Now, where's the clue you left behind? Note from Jackdaw. Anne never found it. So how did he die? Was she to blame at all? This looks intriguing. Could it be? Has someone solved my puzzle after all these years? Well done indeed. Richard Jackdaw, at your service. The Richard Jackdaw? I heard you disappeared years ago. You have some explaining to do. I do? That was my puzzle you solved. What are you doing here? A retired aura, Helen Thistlewood, told me about a map you stole from Peeves, and then Anne told me about a cave. You saw Anne? Broke my heart. I had to go on without her. Probably best for her in the end. Dare I ask? How is she? She was imprisoned in Azkaban for your murder. I fear the Dementors have taken an irreversible toll on her. What? Azkaban? Oh, poor Anne. I had no idea. I thought she'd written me off. I've been travelling the world for years to mend my broken heart. I came back here only recently. On a whim. I must speak to the aura you mentioned and see how I can help Anne. I'm glad to hear it. 
before you go, would I still be able to find the pages with the map Helen mentioned? I'm almost certain I dropped them in the cave the moment I was beheaded. They're bound to be mouldering away with the rest of me. Tell you what, meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll show you precisely where to find them. If you don't mind me asking, how did you lose your head? I was having a look about when I suddenly sensed a refreshing breeze, after which I felt, well, light-headed. That's all I remember. Hence, if you do find yourself in a cave, be prepared. I can't tell you what for specifically, but you seem a perceptive sort. Beware a light breeze. Helen mentioned Apollonia Black. Did she set up Anne to take the fall? Have you never met any members of the Black family? They can be rather vindictive. Once Anne showed an interest in me, Apollonia couldn't let it alone. That her own heart had grown cold simply didn't matter. How is it possible to steal from Peeves, a poltergeist? I didn't steal the pages from his ghostly form. I merely found them in his wake of destruction. He has a penchant for wrecking things. Books, bottles, suits of armor. Whatever's likely to cause the most chaos. Found them on the floor outside the library where he discarded them. Not my luckiest find, all things considered. Thank you. I need to find those pages to help a friend. I shall see you there. This place has seen better days. inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder.
Lumos. Enchanted candles. Wonder where they're heading. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. The candles seem to be leading into the Forbidden Forest. Treasure must be nearby. I suppose a picnic in the Forbidden Forest could seem romantic to some. Treasure hunting suits me. Incendio! Abandoned long ago, no doubt. Here I am, as good as my word. We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised to see you. It would take the patience of a Hufflepuff to track down these pages. Well said. Now where do we go from here? Follow me. I shall lead you as far as I can, but I fear I may remain a tad reluctant to revisit the scene of my demise. Keep your eyes open for a birdbath. When you find it, say Intramuros. I think it's Latin. Or Greek. As you can imagine, I never paid much attention in school. Shall we? Aside from the bird bath, anything else I should look for? Indeed. A few landmarks, a stone bridge, a waterfall, and, if I recall, a lake. You'll see. You've been very helpful. Thank you. Surprising how much of this is rather unfortunately coming back to me. Hmm. Yes. You know, the closer we get, the more I'm remembering. Probably best I leave you to it. Simply stick to the path and keep a sharp eye out for that bird. Nothing to do now but keep going. The waterfall. For a thief, Jackdaw's surprisingly as good as his word. Something oddly solemn about this place. Such regal creatures, stags. There it is, just as Jackdaw described. Intramuros. Aren't you a little far from home? Renrock knew you'd eventually lead us to whatever it is you're hiding. Renrock will you take us? Incendio. 
my way back. Potato, stop it! Uh, 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 no risk those loyalists will report back to Ranrock now. Let's see where Jack Dora's led me.